What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another another Arena Cube draft. I'm your host. What are we taking here? Starnheim Unleashed, right? Like, this card's bananas. It has to be just great in Cube, too, right? I can't imagine it's not. I'm just going to do something real quick. Yeah, we're taking Star Time Unleashed. We could take Phyrexian Obliterator. I do like an Obliterator. Um, Hanged Executioner. Glass Casket. Momentary Blink. Hmm. Was there a Siege Gang in there? I didn't even see the Siege Gang. Basri Ket, Immortal Sun again. I actually don't know the frequency of Planeswalkers. I feel like there's not a ton of Planeswalkers in this cube. And I feel like Immortal Sun's probably pretty good. I'm going to take Immortal Sun for that reason. Grasp, I mean, Grasp is great. It's obviously good removal. I don't know if I want to lean towards double. Double colored. Uh, I kind of like Doomscar here. <laughs> Stays on color, destroys the creatures. Let's Doomscar. Let's try. Let's try like some some white control. <sighs> Sensor. Sensor is exciting. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go Immortal Sun into oh, Glacial Fortress. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Yorion. What are we blinking here, though? Hanged Executioner. And I guess we can find things to blink. Just find things to blink. Approaches. Approach seems pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I would. I would not mind an approach here. Champion Withs. Okay. I know they don't go to heaven. <laughs> I think they go to a lake of fire and fry. Glass Casket, Momentary Blink. Ooh, what if we just play a Momentary Blink deck? Okay, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to Momentary Blink some things. See him again until the 4th of July. I've been to the old fire and fry at the lake, decent chicken. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound real. I feel like you made that up. B 
bit by a dog with a rabid tooth. You know, you know how it goes. I'll take a gilded lotus. You don't know my chicken life. Oh, damn it, he's right. I don't know for Thassa's Orling. Orling? <laughs> Orkling? I guess. I mean, it's probably better than Gravebreaker Lamia in our non-black deck. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We need some of that 420 cloud blaze it. And I wish my five drops weren't so. Oh, that's actually that's actually pretty sweet. This pack, however, not great. Uh don't care about Ruin Crab. Don't love Fairgrounds Warden. I think Valorous Stance is probably fine. There's a lot of big things that we can kill with this. I do love Great Henge and Demonic Pact, but I'm gonna be stancing. I miss Kurt, Frank. Just can't. I mean, Kurt was good, man. Don't care about crab, heathen. Hey, man. Listen. Does it help if I care about Zatalpa? Does that help? I think I just want to take the Zadalpa. Zadalpa. Sabulba. Uh, and we can play it off of our Gilded Lotus? Yeah, I'm just taking this thing, man. Oh, Sublime Epiphany? That seems bananas. Okay, I feel like we're back on a control deck. Oh, I kind of want to just splash Kaya. Can we splash Kaya? This card seems great. And it also does have kind of a, a reanimate, oh, like a like a blink theme, right? Because you get your creatures back. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Kaya. The alternative is like Lay Claim or Cleansing Nova, neither of which I'm really excited about, so. Seagate Restoration, Sea Dasher Octopus, Castle Vantress, two lands that we could take, both of which are interesting. I kind of like Seagate Restoration better. Dang it. Why can't you be a black white land? None of these cards are great. I'll just take Platinum Angel. I like that these like these cards are are actually just playable. Like you could just play this as a one three for two that gains you some life, and like if not, that's cool. Ooh, Sphinx's Revelation. I actually really like the Sphinx's Revelation art. This isn't available in paper, right? 
How come they don't move when they're over here? Eh, I'll take a fairgrounds warden. I don't actually know what our deck is doing. It's kind of like it, it kind of wants to be like a a control deck, and it also kind of wants to be like a blink deck, so I have no idea. Chromatic Ories, I don't think it's great, but I feel like it's a card that that it's it's one of those cards that's designed in such a way that makes you think it's great. You're like seven mana, it's got a million lines of text. Do we have strong enough blink targets? No, probably not yet. I also don't know what direction we're going. Ooh, I like an Alrun's Epiphany, though. I, I mean, I think that's better than Skyclave in our deck. Okay, well. Maybe we're not playing Immortal Sun, and maybe we're taking, like, Jace here. I think that's correct. All right, we're going to put Immortal Sun over here. God Pharaoh's Gift. <sighs> Maybe Yorion's still good enough? I don't actually know. But I'm, I'm taking the Planeswalker here. Memories, or mine? It's not Lithoform Engine. Oh, you're good at Farmland. Let's take the Dual Land, especially when we just took Triple Blue Jace. Yeah, that's good. None of these cards are exciting either. <laughs> Buying the monster is not great, and I want to take like six damage tapped on a Kogla. I don't hate Glass Pool Mimic. I could also just take Sword of Body and Mind. Whatever, I'll take the Sword. Ooh, Temple of Enlightenment. Yeah, I'll take the fixing. Is this back three? Oh, man. Feeling behind here. Oh, I like Alrund. Also, Godless Shrine is not bad if we do want to play uh, Kaya. Otherwise, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I'm going to take the Godless Shrine. I think it's more important to play the cards we have. Oh, Isolated Chapel? Look at this. Look at this. It's all coming together. Oh, we did it. <laughs> wow. Is that like a last pick? That's a that's an eighth pick approach. That is the... Wow. That's, that's exciting. That's exciting. All right. So I think we need like two cards here. And we can always just play like... Fairgrounds Warden or Platinum Angel. Literally no cards for us. Absolutely none. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Prophetic Prism is actually not... Ooh, Cosmos Elixir is nice. I kind of like Cosmos Elixir. Yeah, let's take the Elixir. We need playables. This deck's kind of all over the place, but I'm hoping our, our card quality is going to uh, actually do something.
Don't care about any of these. Copy an actor and trivia you choose the same. I mean, I'll just take it because it's the only card we're even close to playing, but. If I can get one more card on the wheel here, I'd be pretty appreciative. <laughs> I think it's always actually fine, just, just like a win condition in this deck. Our card quality, aw oh shits, aw oh shits. Oh boy. Nothing. All right, well. Rediscard card excellent. Actually, maybe that's playable. That might not be bad. Yeah, I actually think having both Jace and Oracle is pretty beneficial here. Okay, fine. Don't think that's going to make it. But it's just draw a card, then discard. Return all cards, exile. This is actually... This is actually playable, I think. All of those are fine. All of those are fine. Yorion is kind of meh. So, six. And this is also like a two... That's a land. So we still have Seagate and Skyclave. So this is actually like 19 lands, which is probably better for us. I could see playing Fragmentize. And that's actually pretty much it. I guess I guess some of these. What do we have? Two Planeswalkers? Hmm. Hmm. How many creatures? Six. Six creatures. Okay. Well... I think we're just main decking Fragmentize. Because I don't think it's this, 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 or this. So it's really like, that's like, eh, kind of rope. Only option, really. Um, so what is this? One, two, four black sources. Plus we have Gilded Lotus. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four. Nine, nine, four. That actually seems good. It's actually ten, ten, four because of the uh the two dual face cards. I, I don't know about Lithoform Engine to be honest. Let's take a gander. Copy an activated or triggered ability you control. Copy an instant or sorcery you control. You may choose new, new targets for the copy. Copy a permanent spell you control. The only problem is it's so expensive. Like, seven man. Like, what instant or sorcery are you going to copy? Like, I doubt Approach is reasonable or Seagate Restoration is reasonable. Sublime Epiphany, we'd have to have nine mana. I mean, we can copy Sensor or Valorous Stance. Doomscar copying is not really super relevant. I don't know, it's just, it seems a little clunky. playing it's fatty chopper yeah it's not great i just didn't remember i didn't remember it wasn't great i just needed a reminder <laughs> 
every time I see the what face in Twitch, I always think it's red from uh, from that 70s show. Or his character from uh, RoboCop. Oh boy. You know what? Sure. I can cast this Kaya. And... Oh, okay. Clarence Bodeker, yeah. That's wow, that was that was some good good Robocop recall, not to be confused with total recall. Oh, that's nice. I mean drawing a card and discarding a card with this when we have multiple lands in hand is pretty good. Total Recall and, and, and Robocop are both directed by the same director. I feel like I, I should know that. That's insane. <laughs> Get to the fatty choppa. <laughs> oh, man. Paul Verhoeven directed both. Verhoeven. Wow, that's crazy. I think that's correct, actually. Oh, it's H-O-E-V-E-N. Okay. Pass. I kind of just want to bounce something. What is... Five, a colorless construct. I mean, this is great because we can discard things like these and not have to worry about it. You know, assuming they they don't kill it, right? Like that's that's the big assumption. I'm pretty sure there's only only one total recall. Did they get a forest? I think I go forest. Oh no, they didn't. I don't have any creatures here as rough. I don't know how we win this game. I guess we can just make two four fours. And that actually seems like a good deal, right? And they got Vidge? Oh boy. Big Vidge. I only totally recall one. God. Oh boy. Yep, that is unfortunate. So long forever. I do like having a Kaya here, to be honest with you. I just want to get in, get out, and finish the job. Get him! Oh, yeah, that'll do, big. Oh, man, they're like, oh, you know what? That's all my eggs in the basket. So that'll be it. See you later. Bye. All right. I guess we're gonna. Guess we're good, right? Um, yeah, we'll keep this. This guy's good. This guy's good. Hmm. I'm going to bottom that. I do not need a sixth land at this particular point.
I like that it asked me which side I wanted to play, even though I've already played a land this turn. I choose this one. Oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna block here. If you want to discard to save this guy, that's totally fine. Doom scar. Give me, give me that doom scar. I'm gonna draw because I do want to hit a doom scar. I feel like if we just hit. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. There is an approach in the trash can. And the best, I mean, like even if they kill this, like it's. As long as you're making sure you don't discard super relevant cards, like I'm never gonna discard this. But like as long as you're just looting, like it's still you're still fine. Like it's just a one for one. Hanged Executioner, huh? So we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd rather foretell this. I, I think that that's probably better than two life, and it does get us closer to the Doomscar. Which is what we're trying to hit here. Okay. Nope, didn't want that. Sure, we take f six, three, four, five, six. The deck is good. They know that that's, a, that's an instant, right? Like, they don't have to do that on their turn. Do, 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 do me. Nope, okay. Let's ship that. Yikes. All right, well, we make two, we go block here, block here, we take one, two, three, four, and then six. All right. Here's up to eight. I mean, next turn we can go land, search Doomscar. No, it costs two. All right, well, I think they just trounced us here. Seems good. Seems good. Now I have to chump block the 6-6, six, six, and I hope we just top deck a Doomscar. Oh boy. We did not. They've already seen this, so. All right, let's go to the next game. I actually feel like Fairgrounds Warden is probably fine. We can get rid of, uh, you know, their, um, what do you call them? Their tokens. Fragmentize also kills all of their, all of their guys as well. So that's pretty good. I don't really want to take Zatalpa out. I can actually probably see taking out one land, to be honest. Keep seven. Oh, 
Oh, they went to five? So I think we're still a bag of holding here. Hmm, fascinating. I think we're putting Kaya under the... And hope they don't kill it before we get to use this. That would be really sad. Well, I guess I got in over my head. Let's play Hanged Executioner. Like, if they want to discard two cards to keep this guy alive, that's totally fine. And they're a turn away from Sawtooth. So if they don't play anything here, we can actually kill this. Okay. Easy block. I mean, that's totally fine. Next time we can go Unleashed and Deck in Stone on this guy. Fascinating. I guess we can also just exile it with the Executioner. Drag him and bag him. <laughs> oh, it's good times. Can I just attack? Let's go to the combat step. <sighs> what happens with mutate if they try to mutate and we take away the source? Is it like bestow or do they or do both creatures just disappear? Hopefully someone will let me know. Because it really that, that really changes whether I whether I exile this. Um <laughs> to si uh you do get the trigger. Okay. Oh, it's a human. They can't even bestow on this guy. See, Shiny B is like, that's that's uh You get the you get the creature, no trigger. Oh, really? I don't like that either. No, either way, this is this is a human, so they can't bestow onto it, and that's the important part. So I'm actually tempted to just put both of these in the... Yeah, that seems good. I mean, unless they have another three white pips in hand. You get to play the creature that mutated no trigger. So you just put it into play. I mean, they still get it for four mana, which is a good deal. But again can't really mutate onto this guy because it's a human and that's uh very relevant to know see that's unfortunate however we can doom scar and that's pretty all right Do you keep your 3-1 for the last card? Man? No. Fascinating. Let's play this untapped discard irrigated farmland. Right? Maybe? Because I want to activate the bag. Old bugle boy. They whiffed. 
works for me. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Ooh, let's put approach under there. That's an expensive one. Um, hmm. Let's play this. Maybe play this, and then next turn we Starnheim for like a bajillion. Maybe that's greedy, but nah, I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, we did it. We got it. Bad bugle. <laughs> that's a bad bugle. Oh, that's really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good God. Oh God. I mean, we'll just do this for four though, and then I'll probably be the game, right? And that'll do, pig. It's like, you know what? I'll draw one more card and see what happens. Do they just top take a wrath? That'd be wild. Lucky, 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 lucky. Wow. That is insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is ten. I think we just sack this play Kaya. I don't care about this. I'm, I'm just going to Sphinx for a bajillion. Sphinx for seven. I cannot believe they just hit Cleansing Nova. Like, that's insane, dude. Uh, okay. If you choose Lotus, I'll Sphinx in response. If you choose Bag of Holding, I'll just... These have been great top decks. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to Sphinx for three. What am I, a baby? So we got three. We have sensor mana up. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I this is not a deck I would have expected a Wrath of God from. I have six creatures in my deck. Yep. I mean, we're just going to Silent Departure this guy. And then we're going to Sphinx's Revelation for a billion and just cast Approach next turn. You got it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Okay, okay, they don't need to see it. <laughs> they know what's going on. Man, Approach of the Second Sun into Sphinxes for Seven is pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, a Cleric of Life's Bond. The name is Bond. Cleric of Life's Bond. Um, I'm okay with this hand. Depending on their deck, we could play this or use it as a land. Interesting. All right. All right.
Oh, fascinating. Well, that's a thing. What a fancy book. It really is. It really is. I just I don't think I need to play this. Maybe I do. A little Doom Scar. And we'll just play it. Like if they're gonna give us they're gonna make us draw cards anyway, I presume. Yep. This is not this is not a good matchup for us. Uh, they milled Thassa's Oracle and Jace, two of our two of our main win conditions. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to being milled, that's kind of funny. I don't think we have any way to get it back. We don't have any like elixir of immortalities or anything. I'm ready for a good time. I feel like we cannot win this game. As it stands. Where's my fragmentize? I think this matchup gets much better if they don't have Folio Fancies, but right now we just can't put enough pressure on them to actually uh, outrace the Folio. game this is not gonna go this is not uh i feel like this is just a matchup we are not favored look with your fragment eyes <laughs> i see what you did there let's bring in that take out the valorous stance i guess We don't have enough creatures for that. Oh boy. Not great, Bob.
What's the holdup? They're just gonna crush us anyway, I don't even know. All right. <laughs> I feel like this is, yeah, this is just a bad matchup for us. I have like six creatures in my deck and they're like, I'm gonna try to mill you slowly. And I'm like, mm, okay, no, that's gonna go well for you. Literally in a non-sarcastic way that will actually go well for you. Could've just played planes there. I, I feel like the life didn't matter, but nevertheless, it was still, there was still no reason to say, and now we get Yes. Get that guy out of here. Ooh, okay. Maybe we got a chance this game. Not with that, though. Uh, let's actually get rid of... No, I want three blue in case we just top pick a Jace here. Um, <clears throat> could get rid of Approach, but I feel like Approach is going to be fine. And I'd rather not have it, like, stuck under here if they end up killing this somehow, so. I mean, next turn we can Gilded Lotus in to keep up Sensor. It's not terrible. Thirst for Meaning. Okay. And what do they have? They have nine cards in hand. They're discarding two, so they go back down to seven. So it's not really into, into countering a thirst for meaning. Having the bag is nice because they, you know, if uh, when, when the client gives us a chance to respond, they're thinking it's bag and not sensor. I guess. I don't know. Well, oh yeah, that can go under there. Not ideal. Okay. One mana up. Yeah, we can Gilded Lotus here. Unless they have Spell Pierce. And then I'll bang my head on the... Wait, what? They had two mana? It looked like they only had one mana up. That's really frustrating. It looked like they had one mana up. I, I don't know, maybe I just missaw, but I felt like Castle Vantress was the only land they had untapped. But that doesn't make any sense because they foretold something, so maybe I'm just a dumb dumb. Taking advantage here. That's actually pretty good. Death is inevitable. See you later. Think fast. What is this thing? What is this? What am I looking at? This is this an amoeba? This is this a germ? <sighs> God. Fragmentize, you suck. Let's play you face down. One, two, three. There's that Jace again. Patient rebuilding is so good. Every time I saw it in the queue, I would just take it. I 
15 cards left. Oh boy, believe it or not, six cards a turn is pretty efficient. This is actually pretty good. We can get rid of their whole board this turn. That was an easy job. seemed pretty decent. <laughs> Looks like some sort of blue. I have no idea what this is. Is it a bear? Is it a tick? Who knows? Could be anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. No idea what that is. Could be anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cost seven, eight, seven. Pretty good. Do you have a counter spell for this? Oh, that's interesting. I'm just gonna attack with one. I want to be able to double block this guy. So you got it. Two bottom. Yeah, they're looking for an answer for this guy, which is good for us. It is indestructible. I think we're actually okay shape here. Okay, just a big fat whale. That still kills it. <laughs> Double strike gets you. Double strike gonna get you. Oh, a little terramander. Okay. Oh, indestructible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. You're right there, Squinchy, for that deep down body thirst. So I have one turn to deal with the Zatalpa. Hopefully they don't have a Sacker Creature card. Dino DNA. Eventually, we're going to see uh, dino dinosaurs on this. Uh... Hmm. 
You got it. Wow, they slow rolled that one, didn't they? Fourteen cards. They don't care about that. And what do they got here? They can be oh, yeah, such Braska's contempt. How oh, nice. It's the second time Braska's contempt has like gotten me. So we got three lands, might as well play a land. Five, six, yeah, I'll take six. Now I'm tempted to cast this guy, just to get us closer to the the approach. Could also just play Platy. One. Terrible, you're losing three left and the second non-land permanent. Uh, sure, I'll discard. Silent Departure. Hmm, interesting. Counter a spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they gotta draw a removal for this, right? No blocks. Like if they don't here, then we can actually just counter whatever they sure we can't lose the game so how far down is it <laughs> i'll lose three life you got it that's a big one um geez Also copying our platinum. Oh yeah, this is actually this is this is banging. One, two, and then we have approach. Seems good. Mm -hmm. They're gonna cast a lock lane. Scry two first. You got it. Pretty sure I counter the castle lock lane. Like then they just don't get a card, right? Okay, so they're just dead now, right? They have no cards. And we're drawing approach? Sure. Let's just let's just win by approach. Alright, that was kind of cool. Yeah, we can counter a lantern activation, but it's just like. Now I want the Valor stance because we've seen like creatures. Man, Platinum Angel at the end of the game, OP. Oh, you used all your removal, hmm? All righty then. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Um, actually don't mind this hand. I'm fading. I got to sleep. Super Fritz, I'll probably see you tomorrow, buddy. Thank you for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, Sublime Epiphany. This guy's just going to be a land here because we don't have guaranteed fifth land. Also, Cosmos Elixir seems insane against them. Guaranteed fourth land is what I meant.
Uh, they haven't played anything. We're just going to queue up Sensor. Thank you. Oh, Franconic Disciple. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Got it. This seems like it's going to be hard for them to deal with. You got it. You guys are all one. He's like, no. No. We licks in tonight, boys. <laughs> oh, you got it. My poor little guy. Uh, play this as a land. If we hit another land, we got... Ooh, I like that. I feel like we're in good shape here. I do want to land so I can sublime their patient rebuilding. Boy, I like that. I don't want to play it, though, because we know they have Raska's Contempt, so... Big plants. Your streams are perfect to watch at night while I try to get my new baby to sleep. Super Irish, I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for saying so, man. Thank you for the support as well, my dude. Welcome back. You got it. One, two, three, four. We do need to land. I think we're just going to pitch Platty McMatty. Okay. Oh, we're discarding that for sure. That's that's a good hit. Um, I do kind of want to just Alrin's Epiphany here. I think we're actually fine to do so. So that's pretty cool. And now we just get to keep up Sublime Epiphany. We have 18 cards. Hmm. Do we just give them one turn and keep our Jace? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass here. Hopefully this will be a land. Eh, that's kind of like a land. One, two, three, four, five, a three, four. So we're not there yet. Also could have played Platinum Angel that turn, I guess. Counter the spell. Return this. Create a token. Draw a card. Target a non-land permanent. Uh, this thing. Re create a token. Target a player. <laughs> you got it. Hmm. This is 
seven. This would give us three, four, five. Wait just a minute. Oh, Seagate Restoration. I do love a good puzzle. Hmm. I wonder if we can get to a point where we can play Jace, draw a card, and then Seagate 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, if we can play Gilded Lotus and have it resolve, we can. I think they're going to play Noxious Gear Hulk here, which is going to be really frustrating, though. I feel like we're behind, even though we have plans. Okay, that's definitely saw it coming. They just have no way to stop these guys. Think fast. Hmm. Okay. That guy's gone. Oh, I like a Kaya on top, actually. That seems good. So we can play this, and then if they try to kill Platinum Angel, we actually have Valorous Stance, which is pretty sweet. I think they're going to see this coming, which is completely fine. Yeah, that's basically bait. So now we get to draw the Kai, huh? Also, if, we, if Platinum Angel is alive, we just get to um, not worry about decking. Three lands, sure. Uh, my turn, are we doing anything here? I think we can get rid of Sphinx's Rev. They have two cards. I don't know. That's not super scary, I guess. Actually, them... <laughs> this is... Jace goes up to five. Sure. So they have one card left. We have eight cards in our library. We can play Jace. Mills two, puts us to six, draws a card, puts us to five. This will draw us another card, puts us to four. I think next turn we just win with a Jace. Yeah, that seems fine. Like, the only thing I'm worried about is Vraska's Contempt here. But I think this is probably going to be the end, right? We could also draw with this. Look at the top six cards. Sure. Thirst for meaning. Okay. I don't think you can cast both, right? One, two. So now you have one, two. You have three mana? Yeah, all right. This is good. I think we just won this game. I'm actually... Completely surprised if that's the case.
Platinum Angel doing the work. Oh, they're tapped out. This is... Yeah! <laughs> so we go to three cards. We mill with Jace and draw. Got him! Oh my god, how did we win this game? That's wild. I thought this was a terrible matchup for us. And then we win the game. I never thought I'd see such a thing. Man, Platinum Angel was doing some work. Good grief. Could be back to back 3 0. That'd be sweet. I didn't think our deck was that good, but apparently it's holding its own. Oof. Um, we have a temple, all of our colors, and a silent departure to stop early stuff, so I'm actually gonna... Oh, no. Okay. Any land is gone. That's his oracle's just another look, right? Yeah, okay. Sure. Why not? It's unfortunate, but if we put this on the bottom, we would have we drawn both, I guess. So... That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's pretty good. Should I just get them to use the treasure? Sure, why not? I mean, the alternative is that they like... It just gets it just keeps getting bigger, so uh, oh boy. White. Sound departure Lannery Storm. Like it still makes them spend three next turn, so somebody's making big growls over here on the floor. Interesting. So they have a two drop they wanna they wanna play? No, no they don't. But now if we kill this, they do get to crack the clue, which is kind of it's kind of a happy accident there, huh? Um one, two, three. Starts like this are really hard for us to deal with, I think. We just have so few early cards. I mean, Baron's Warden might be just worth playing, I think. I don't really want to do this because then it gives them a clue and they crack the clue. And then we don't have an answer for this guy, and that's really a concern. So I think we're just going to pass. Play Gilded Lotus into deck next turn. Deck, ne deck next turn. Deck neck? Three, four, four. They have seven mana right now. I don't know why they put this into play untapped. They did not use the mana. Doomscar one time. One time Doomscar. I have not had a single one time. I see. So three, four, five, six. gonna get rid of this guy for now i think they're both gonna kill us equally but we're really at least silent departure if we bounce that dragon it buys us another turn so
So the crew of that, we take three, four, five, six. If they crack a clue, we take seven. Really, really fingers crossed for the friggin' <laughs> the doom scar. Come on, one time. I haven't had a one time in this draft yet. Eight if they crack both clues. They did not want to do that. Wait, did they crew with this instead of this? That's interesting. So they replay this, they attack for three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. There's a lot of lands we've drawn. I don't like it. All right, let's bring in Fairgrounds Wardy. Fragmentize actually kills their ship. So I'm just gonna play it like maybe they don't have maybe they don't have platinum angel removal. Maybe platinum angel just belongs in our main deck. And I think we're gonna cut one land and call it a day. So now we have access to 18 lands and 41 cards, which seems totally fine. Oh boy. Well, okay. This is good. We can get rid of Yorion, I guess. Although blinking both of these seems decent. Get rid of Epiphany, even though I love Epiphany. I mean, I'd rather have to hit five lands than six and taking an extra turn. Oh boy. That's your little buddy. Don't kill my cleric, bro. Okay. Uh, Fragmentize? Gilded Lotus. card that if you have five mana gives you more mana really Oh, it's toughness. Oh, biscuits. Well, hopefully we hit a land. And yeah, this Bowman Curve is really just working us over. Remember Doomscar? Man, that was a card. Here, we're going to draw it now. <laughs> sure. You know what? Two life? Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. And I actually have an uh, what? Come on. All right. Well, we just weren't meant to win this game, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head over to twitch.tv slash frank4 and uh, subscribe to the channel. Help me out. Do me a favor. Do me a solid. Or subscribe on YouTube. There's also membership on YouTube you can join if you want to support the channel that way. All these things are helpful. And uh, appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.